Hello and welcome to my craft room and my bench. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom kitty cat. Here's my kitty. As you can see, he's made from four pom-poms. So we got a large pom-pom, a medium pom-pom, and two little ones. Here's my kitty. And I'm going to show you how to make the pom-poms and make the animal. The pom-pom maker I'm going to use is an old-fashioned one that I learned when I was like... Phew, nine and then it's great for upcycling so what you need to make the kitty is of course you're going to need kitty colored yarn whatever color you decide that is i use medium weight size four uh, if you use a thicker yarn you use less but your pom-poms aren't as good and if you use a thinner yarn you have to use a lot more to get a fuller fuller uh, pom-pom. You are also going to need, of course, all important googly eyes. You're going to need at least two felts. I use the light color for his ears, his ears here, and I use the black for his little nose. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a big eyed, see it's pretty big, Big eyed uh, needle it does it could be blunt, it just needs to be big enough for the yarn to go through. You're going to need a pencil, and you're going to need some kind of circles to create your circles. I used a K cup, empty, and I used a modeling clay, and we'll show you that in a minute. You're also going to need paperboard. You don't want to use cardboard. Cardboard's too thick and hard to rip. So we're going to use paperboard. Paperboard is thin, flexible, a little bit thick, not too much. You can get them in um, shirts. A lot of times they're in between shirts and you find them in sheets. You can also use, which I prefer, I prefer the upcycle idea of using paperboard. Uh, which is, this is happens to be taco shell box. And you can also get them in like your cereal boxes. These are perfect because they hold their shape, but they still rip easy and that's important. So to go on and make our circles, we're going to need one large, one medium, and two little ones for the legs. So for the large, the single large pom-pom, we need two. For the middle pom-pom, the middle size one for the head, we're going to need two. And for the legs, we're going to need two. I used the K-cup. And I just did a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's going to see it. And then uh, we need a hole in the middle of each one. The thing is with the holes, you don't want them too large, like this one would be too large. You would you would have a very, 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 very full pom pom, but it would take forever to do this. And if it's too little, then you have a very loose pom pom. So you kind of want something in the middle. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we don't want this line. And we don't want that line. I freehand them. It's not that important. Um, that they're perfect circles. And you'll see why in a minute. So there's my circles. I'm going to cut out. I'm going to cut out the circle for the head. So...
And you cut out both of them. Get that out of the way. So there's one. There's the second one. Now we're going to cut out the middle section here. I didn't give myself much of a start. And again, not perfect. Perfect doesn't count here. And we're going to do the other one. I like to bend it in half, like so, and give myself a start. As you can see, we now have two donut shapes. We're going to put those together. Now we're going to use our yarn and our big needle. And we're going to take, oops, I don't know what is going on here with this yarn, but it's been crazy. It's all bowled up in the middle. But we're going to take a good size length. It's really up to you. I just don't like forever filling it, restringing it. And we're going to put it through our big eye needle, like so. And then we're going to find the other end here. We're going to tie knot. And then we're going to move our needle. So that's approximately in the middle of the yarn. So from the needle. Now we take our two donuts and we're going to put the needle through. This is going to start it. Like so. We're going to, we put, I put it through. I'll do that again. I think I probably did it with a, but you put it through the knot here, here. And then what that does is it connects it to the thing. So you now have on the yarn. And then you're going to just go around in circles again. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to do this until you can no longer see the hole. And it's kind of tedious, but you know, you don't have to buy any special forms. You have a lot of control over the size of your pom pom. And you're just going to go around and around. And once you make this kitty, you'll be able to understand how they all go together. And making, creating other animals is quite easy. Just use your imagination. So we're going to go around and around. And as you go around, you try to go as evenly as possible. But, you know, really, it's not that big of a deal. And I just didn't move that little piece out of the way and it went flying off the bench. So as we go around, you can see it starts filling up in the middle. Now you understand that um, if it's too little, it won't work. But if it's too big, it's going to take you forever. And you're going to have the foofiest. Okay, now when you come to the end like this, leaving enough room so you can get it through, put it underneath the other ones, go like that, tie it off. Okay, now you're going to do that. I got one here that's finished. This is the body. You're going to continue that until you can not really see in between. The hole's all gone. What we're going to do is we're going to 
pull the yarn aside so you can see your form. And remember, there's two. This is why you want two. I pull it apart so you can see the two. I put my scissors in between the two and I start cutting. Like so. So as you can see, I'm just cutting the loops. And see, I even cut off some of that. It doesn't matter. Okay. So there you go. I like to pull, I like to trim a little white still on that loop. Right? So as you can see, the little ones, like so. What we're going to do next is you go to take a piece. I mean, a good, decent sized piece, I guess. That looks like maybe it's 12 inches and that's probably too much. But you're gonna take your piece and you're gonna put it like so. Again, you're gonna go in the middle and you're just gonna wrap that piece around so it's in the middle. See, as you can see, it's there. And then, I say and then a lot, don't I? Tie a knot. And then just to be safe, we're going to tie another knot. All right, and this is why you don't want to use cardboard and why you want to use paperboard. Because now you're going to literally cut, you can cut, or rip your paperboard off. As you can see, it's a one-time deal with these. And I have the little feet here. And again. We just cut it, take off, rip off the paper. Like so. Now we have, oops, I forgot to rip off that one. There we go. And last but not least, let's finish off this head. The magic of video, I got so much done, huh? Anyway, as you can see, I think I'm pretty done. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one. I'm gonna use this string I don't believe in wasting stuff just to waste stuff. I'm going to go ahead and come through the middle, find my middle. There you are. Grab my scissors. Now, this project the beauty of this thing is any just about any age can do this. I think I had my granddaughter was five and she made her first kitty cat. So it is something if the child has the patience to fill it in and learn how to do it, then they can definitely do these. And you gotta admit, this one I'm gonna trim a little bit because I don't like the way it sticks out. You can trim while it's on or off. Off or on the form. It does make a big mess. But anyway, back to my granddaughter. We did a lot of crafts together when she was closer to me and I had her every day. Ooh, this is a very long string so I'm going to Cut this in half and use that other one later. So I was always trying to think of things that a five-year-old could do until it occurred to me that five-year-olds and four-year-olds can do a lot of things. I mean, 
and knowing how to sew and make things like pom-poms and follow directions is a good skill to know. But you can also do this if you're old like me. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There we have our big, medium, and little. Now we're going to put this thing together. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our big, our body. That's our body. Like I said, I'm going to trim. I don't know why I, I, I trim why it's still a ball and not together. You don't even have to trim. It's a kitty cat. Kitty cats don't necessarily have perfect body. Anyway, you're going to, and it doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect. You're going to take both of these strings and you're going to tie them together. And you're going to tie them together so you actually tie them together. And do a double knot so they hook together. Look at that. Doesn't that just look like your kitty cat? Okay. Probably not. Now we're not going to tie these off. Okay. Now we're going to separate one on each side. And we're going to take a foot. It's a foot. And we're going to tie it to this side. And again, I like to double knot it. You can triple knot it. You can put glue in between if you want. Okay, so there's that one side. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to tie it to the other side. Again, triple knot that sucker. Or double knot that sucker. Triple knot it if you want. And again, if you want glue. So as you can see, there's our kitty, right? Go ahead and trim off the pieces. So there's our kitty. Kind of a ragtag looking guy, huh? I think he's cute. But anyway. Now we're going to do the part that actually makes him look like a kitty. So for this one, you're going to need your felt. Some googly eyes, some glue, which I failed to mention earlier, and I'm trying to get this sucker to work out. Okay, I like tacky glue, it holds nice. And you're going to need a color that you like for the tail. Oh, I didn't, I threw that in the wrong spot, but there you go, the tail. So the first thing I'm going to suggest we do is we make the ears. I used this light color. I do freehand a lot, but you can, using your pencil or a pen, pens are easier to see. Yeah, you probably can't see that, but you can make your triangles. So there's my triangles for my kitty ears. I think this one's too big, so we're gonna we're gonna take our glue. Let's see if this sucker comes out all the way. And you're going to take your glue as soon as it cooperates. I love this glue. It's one of my favorites. When this glue came out, it was great. But I will be honest, when I was a kid. I just used Elmer's. It just took a long. So you're going to put glue on your ear. You're just going to stick it on his head. Like so. Now you have an ear. And then you take your other ear. And the same thing. There you got two ears. For the nose, I used black. You can use pink. But I use black. And again, again, it is a literally a triangle. Put a little glue. I'm going to do that. Put a little glue. Now, my granddaughter made her kitty 
have a very big nose. And I'm going to get my Google eyes. And again, we're going to glue those on. So, Google eye. And Google eye. Oops, get up there. So the nice thing about the tacky glue is it does grab pretty quick, so you're okay. And now we're going to do the tail. I'm going to cut this down a little because I don't want a huge tail, but you can have a huge tail for sure. Again, we're going to glue it. And then you're going to put your tail right where a kitty tail should be. And then I like to curl mine. And there is your kitty. You can, if you don't like a fuzzy look, you can trim it. If you like the fuzzy look, perfect. But this is a great craft for anybody. There you go. You have a pom-pom kitty cat. Thank you for watching Crafted by TW YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Don't forget to visit my pages on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and I'm missing one. TikTok is new. I'm missing one. But you can find me just about every social media at Crafted by TW. See you there. Uh -huh.